Hi everyone, it's me again, and I am here today to show you some new software for the Rilo. It's received a new firmware and a new app update, so it uh, brings some new features never seen before on this camera. So I'm excited to show you. They gave me some early access, and it's available right now. One of the feature is not available for Android, but all the other features are available for both iOS and Android. Uh, but yeah, take a look, and you'll see what's new. The first new upgrade I have to show you for the Rilo is the 180 degree mode, which uh, Rilo have added to the new firmware. Now basically it allows you to film 180 degrees as opposed to full 360. This means that you get to kind of film it like a normal camera with a slightly wider angle lens. Now they say that the video quality is slightly higher when you film a 180, um, which I can kind of see, it's slightly more uh, detailed, but the, the difference isn't as noticeable. As you can see, I'm just walking along with my camera, handheld, uh, shooting in 180, and you know, it works quite well, just like a normal camera, slightly better than a um, phone camera. The stabilization doesn't work as well as you can see here, but otherwise uh, the 180 mode, you know, if you can use it, you can use it. If you're not, then you're not, but um, it's handy to have it. It's definitely a, a welcome new feature and I might be using it um, every now and then. Now here's a quick comparison between a 360 and 180 mode. This is filmed in 180 and the next is filmed in 360. You can see there is a slight difference in colour, in temperature, in kind of the quality. The bitrate is slightly higher when you film at 180 but only slightly so the difference isn't as noticeable. Um, so yeah, you can just see the differences here. Um, it's just essentially two videos, one filmed in 180, one filmed in 360. Now be careful with what lens you film with when you uh, film in 180, otherwise you may end up doing this. Make sure the lens that you use is pointing outwards and that's the one opposite the screen, so that's the one you should use. Also, some of the features are disabled when you're filming in 180, so uh, for example, you can't do the moving uh, feature, you can't do tracking. As you can see here, the motion controls are not available, but uh, the stabilization still works and it still does quite a good job of stabilizing. As you can see here, the difference um, when you don't activate stabilization is a lot different than when you do activate it, it still smooths out the video considerably, but it doesn't work as well as when you shoot in 360. Now the next mode I have is the uh, the blur feature for when you do kind of um, fast motion video like this. So it adds a blur, um, and I, it's kind of a cool effect. I mean, it works a lot better when you go use the fastest kind of uh, fast motion, which is time 16, I believe. Um, so you can kind of see it here. It's not too obvious, but when you see the next video, you'll see it a lot clearer, and it does look quite cool as people and objects move past. It kind of looks um, kind of cinematic, like it was filmed. Uh, for the cinema, like here we go, see, um, it looks much more obvious here when you film time 16 speed. Um, yeah, and that's all available in the app, you just need to select that in the app when you do your editing. And yeah, it looks quite cool um, for a kind of time lapse, kind of, uh, what do they call it? Stop motion? No, hyperlapse, that's what they call it. Right, the next feature is uh, the ability to have a timer for your photos, which was something that was missing from the original, which was uh, kind of stupid, but yeah, now they have that. Also, the next feature, probably the most important, is the fact that you can wirelessly control your camera now, uh, but only if you have an iPhone, unfortunately. Uh, the Android version is coming soon, but you can now have wireless connection if you have an, um, if you have an iPhone to your Rilo. Now, this is really important because it means you don't have to manually control the camera all the time, which was a kind of a pain. Um, you can move away, you can control it from behind a tree, behind wherever you want to hide just to get out of shot. And yeah, it makes the camera a lot more user friendly. So yeah, wireless, um, awesome new feature and hopefully coming to Android soon, but it's available on iOS right now. So that's the Rilo software update for April 2018. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you uh, find it useful. Download it now. It's available for both iOS and Android on the various app stores. Um, the thing that I'm most happy about is the fact that you can use it wirelessly. Um, a bit disappointed it's not available for Android yet, but hopefully it's coming soon. So yeah, let me know what you think. If you think these updates are good, if you uh, think that anything else should be updated, let me know if you use this camera or if you want to use this camera. Feel free to ask some questions as well because I've had it for quite a while and I really, really quite like it. But yeah, that's it for now. I hope this has been useful and I will see you around. Bye. Rilo.